<laughs> Did you think I was not going to get this haircut? Did you think I was bluffing? I will never be under the yoke of long hair ever again. Now, longer than this can still be a possibility, but long hair, no. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Seriously though, this feels so much better. Oh my God. It was killing me, it was killing me. Look at this, I can, I can move my head in any direction and the hair doesn't get in my face. It is kind of funny though because my head is cold now and I'm like, oh, that's what hair is for. Let's keep your head warm. Okay, but starting the day off right, I have this weird tendency where I will try to save money on the dumbest things and then when there's something that I want that is cheap and was in better condition than this, <laughs> um, what happened here? Pethos Lusek Vikos Vinosek, the Final Fantasy VIII orchestra CD that was not shipped very well. Uh, anyways, it only cost me $15 though. And I was looking at it and I was like, oh man, I really want that. But, ah, uh, you know, I shouldn't be spending $15 on just some random thing. Come on, man. $15 for this much enjoyment? Final Fantasy VIII is one of those games that has grown on me tremendously over the years. When I first played the game, I did not like it. It was too different, the music was too weird, I didn't understand the combat system. But over the years when I've revisited it and actually learned the combat system, one of, just a fantastic game. Like one of the best Final Fantasy games gameplay wise. And the music, I still think it's really weird but it has its own unique charm of how weird it is. Well, you know what? Let's just see if we can do a little CD surgery and then just super glue this bad boy back together. I talked about this monitor when I first got it, but what's great about it is that I can plug my keyboard, my audio box, and my mouse all into the monitor. And then when I plug my laptop up, it's just this single Thunderbolt cable that goes to the laptop. It's fantastic. It is a 4K monitor, so with the MacBook Pro, you're supposed to be getting slightly less performance because it has to scale to 4K. I've noticed that a little bit, but the beauty of the monitor and the convenience of a single cable far outweigh any of the slight performance difference. Love this monitor, fantastic. 4K 144 Hertz, come on. Let's get started today, right now, here we go. If you were like me and had YouTube Premium at a certain point, you got a free Google Stadia. Google Stadia recently shut down, but they had a little firmware update that you could download for these controllers, so you could use as a Bluetooth controller anywhere. The reason I mention it is because if you have a FPGA mister, this has so many buttons that it'll cover every game and even save states and fast forwarding because it has these two extra little buttons right here. So you can do save states, fast forward, select, start, menu, clicks, this, that. Come on, son! And now it's time for a run because it's always time for a run. It's Pinky and the Brain! Come on! Now, it's cold outside, but that is not gonna stop us. The slick ground might. But I'm gonna go slow and steady at the beginning, not die, get this. Put this workout in, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? A little bit more treacherous over here. I think I can manage going on a steady clip. Somebody else has been out running. Oh man. Oh, we're climbing back up, are we? Nope. Nope. 46.8. I previously was at 56. 56, man! I guess it's gonna take a bit to work back up to that. We'll get there though. So today is the rough edit, and I actually kind of relish the rough edit sometimes because 
you don't need any creativity for it. Just taking all the footage we have and putting it into a timeline and making sure all the audio is leveled and the video looks okay, it can kind of be a mind numbing, simple process, but it's a very straightforward process. You don't have to worry, is this actually good? You just get everything in there. You can worry about it being good later. We did experiment for a few episodes seeing if we could just start with the final cut. So have the music that you wanna use for a scene ready to go and put that in as you're editing. That is a very similar process to what I do for the vlog. For the vlog, there is no rough edit. I take the footage I have, I take the music I wanna use. As I edit, that's the final edit. And that is definitely my preferred way to work. But for Adventure Archives, because we're writing our own music, I actually don't think it's the best method. After experimenting with it for a bit, I feel like if a video is really long, you can't do the final edit on your first pass because you don't know the sense of pacing until you have everything in there. You need to develop a little bit of familiarity with the video before you're trying to cut it down to the final watchable state. And if you don't understand exactly what I mean by the rough edit, it'd be like cleaning this table. The rough edit would be getting everything off of the table. The final edit is figuring out where all of these things go and then also cleaning the table. But if you need to get started on anything, start with the rough edit of life. Just rough edit it. Just do a, do a first pass. Worry about the details a little bit later. Hey, what is this? Hey, this is a type of belt that I would want. Where's this coming from? Hold the phone. Okay, that's gonna do it for today's vlog. Uh, I'll see you in the next one right now. See you then. So as you might be able to tell, it is very cold outside and in here. I bought this jacket sometime in 2019 during the winter for $250, so it wasn't on sale at all. Last winter, this zipper was already broken and just would not zip properly. I dealt with that all winter. This winter, I was like, I cannot deal with this again. I initially thought that the repair was going to be like $150, and I was like, is it even worth it at that point? Took it to a local place, and they said they could repair the whole zipper for 75 bucks. Is that even worth it? Because you can probably get a used one from REI for like 150. I figure yes, because this is a perfectly good jacket with a repaired zipper. It is, oh, it's so wonderful. So wonderful. Now I just gotta find a way to not play with the zipper too much so that it gets broken again. So I was watching this old vlog that was on March 24th, 2020. Listen to what I said. Honestly, I should have thought of this earlier, but I guess it didn't really occur to me that this is gonna be a pretty long thing. At least a month, if not longer. So. <laughs> At least a month. At least a month. L-O-L. -L. Okay, let's get back to work. <sighs> good progress, good progress. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What did we do? Oh, right. Once again, my services are required at my mother's studio. Those IT people, man, they charge so much money for a house visit. I can figure out what the internet problem is myself, uh, but we're gonna have to end the vlog today because of that reason. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna go get this fixed, hopefully. We'll see. Hope you have a good one. See you in the next one.